Um, so we are out at Marcusi, um finding the giraffe to get some DNA for a researcher called Julian Fennessy from the GCF. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to dart them with a hollow dart and we just basically pick up the dart and that will have a little bit, bit of skin or hair on it. Julian, tell me why why are we doing this? What is what is this research meaning to you? So we've been going around collecting DNA samples here on Nankuse and on Zania property. We're trying to figure out in Namibia what flavor giraffe there is. So over the years, you know, it's been about 15, 20 years, we've figured out there's four species of giraffe in Africa. Right here we have the southern giraffe, and in particular we think these are all Angolan. But who knows, there might be a bit of mix of South African giraffe here. So if we do all this testing, not just here, but across Namibia during these COVID times, we're going to figure out who's who in this big Africa zoo. So how long have you been doing this now? Oh, I've been doing DNA samples of giraffe for the best part of 20 years now. Sure. So it's a long time and I've traveled <laughs> the whole continent, got you know more than a thousand samples across all different flavors of giraffe. So how did you get into it? I was quite lucky that a couple of years ago I came to Namibia and uh, I worked uh, for the Desert Research Foundation. Started giraffe conservation with elephant up in northwest Namibia. Right here I ended up doing a little piece of a PhD on giraffe, what they do, where they go. And since then, now, you know, we're lucky we work in 15 countries, but we're based here because this is the most awesome country to be based and work. And, you know, awesome conservation. That's one of the best countries where, you know, we, we're in today. Oh, wonderful. And if I, how many animals have you done on your database now on DNA? So DNA in Namibia at the moment, we've collected at least 150 samples from about 50 properties in the country. So we're going to expand that a little bit more. So in all major populations of giraffe, I've been lucky enough to travel to and some in, you know, naughty places, scary countries, <laughs> whether it's a DRC, whether it is Sudan or Ethiopian border with South Sudan. So yeah, I've been lucky to get out and about and, you know, hopefully we're doing the right thing for giraffe conservation. That's the bottom line. But at least you see your numbers increasing in certain areas. It is remarkable. So, you know, giraffe populations, they did decline by about an estimated 30% over the last 30 years and probably 90% over the last hundred years sure. but some populations right here in Namibia we're seeing these numbers boom oh, wonderful thank you and good luck no thanks a million really appreciate it <laughs>